with the assurance that U.S. troops would be leaving the region, Turkey decisively entered northern Syria on October 9. The goal, clearing its border area of the Syrian Kurdish YPG that Ankara considers a terrorist organization, but the U.S. considers an ally. Days of intense fighting took place between Kurdish and Turkish forces inside Syria. The U.S. on October 13, concerned that American troops would be caught in the middle, announced it would withdraw its remaining forces from the region. When the U.S. decided to pull its troops out from the region, the YPG was left with no protection. So it struck a deal with the Syrian government that led to the deployment of the Syrian army in key towns such as Mambij and Kobani. This was a significant development. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's forces haven't been in control of towns like Mambij since 2012 when the rebels seized it. So the deal resulted in a major gain for the Syrian government, one that could change the course of the Syrian conflict. Turkey's President Tayyip Erdogan stated he was not concerned with the deployment of the Syrian army. However, some analysts stress that Ankara will soon face more consequences. I think what we're going to see over the next few days, next couple of weeks, is Russia and Syria, first of all, trying to stop Turkey expanding its footprint in Syria, and then it's going to start putting pressure on Turkey to leave completely from the Euphrates Shield area, from Afrin, um, from this uh, latest uh, territory it's taken, and of course also from Idlib. Meanwhile, U.S. President Donald Trump seemed satisfied with the U.S. handling of the Turkish offensive. However, many critics, both in Turkey and the United States, are criticizing Trump for inconsistencies they say will benefit Moscow. With President Trump, we've seen U.S. policy being changing with tweets sometimes in a few hours. So uh, it's not just that we've seen this demonstration of the lack of U.S. power recently in Syria. Uh, we've also seen that at least Russia to the rest of the world appears consistent. Now for the next five, ten years, the U.S. isn't going to be taken serious in the Middle East, and Russia, which is trying to expand its footprint in the region, is. For now, the ceasefire agreement between the U.S. and Turkey appears to be largely holding, despite some reports of violations. If the YPG does withdraw and Turkey then halts the offensive as promised, only then will the global leaders involved be able to take their next steps that will no doubt influence the region as a whole. Mikhail Bardavid, CGTN, Shalnur for Turkey.